Major Slack videos. Boy, yeah, the name is Slack. Thanks for coming back. Let's walk through some more Cyberpunk 2077. We're about to do the heist mission, and, uh, well, fair warning go get yourself a big bucket of popcorn or a big bag of potato chips and your favorite beverage because we are about to be inundated with dialogue. I'd estimate. In the next two hours of Cyberpunk 2077, okay, two hours of game, I estimate there's approximately tops 20 minutes of combat. All the rest is dialogue, 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 all right? So those of you who like story, you're in for a treat. Those of you who don't, well, you're like me. You just have to sit through it. Especially since the game is only a month old, so I can't skip through the dialogue as much as I'd like to. As much as I normally do if I'm not doing a walkthrough, but uh, yeah. Doing a walkthrough, so I'm going to have to show all the dialogue. And one more thing, uh, the game's going to pull that old cheap trick and take away all your weapons and all your... Uh, I wouldn't say armor. It's going to take away all your regular clothing, although you still retain your armor rating. And that's all I want to say about that because I don't want to do any spoilers, but you will retain your armor rating But don't bother bringing any weapons. In fact, empty out your inventory as much as possible so that you can collect as much as possible I'm only bringing this along, but even that's pointless because uh, you won't get to use it But other than that my inventory is completely Empty with regards to weapons, right? See so it's down to 49. And that's it. So that's all I'm gonna say. Let's do this the heist and this takes place or starts off at the afterlife, so let's go there now. There's a fast travel station right there. Senora Wells. Uh, you know, she's worried about me. <laughs> Whatever. Can't help herself, you know? Checking to see if I'm not rotting in some dumpster, like most of the Wells boys. It's really starting to wear on me. The more I tell her everything's okay, the more I feel like I'm straight up lying. But that's done after tomorrow. After life, here we Come, baby. <laughs> yeah! We have arrived. The Major Wells. Does not get any higher, chum. And you know something else? We fucking earned it, mano. Ready to get your cherry popped? Yeah, come on! When I first saw... the, um... The subtitle. This used to be a morgue. You believe that? I mean, just before it. You see where, um. What's his face? Uh. He's having a, having a senior moment here. Jackie. <laughs> when he says Holmes, and I saw it spelled H O L M E S, I'm like, what? I already always thought that Holmes was short for homeboy. I could have swore it was short for homeboy, okay? Like, you know, hey, Holmes, like, you know, like, hey, uh, kind of like a Hispanic way of saying, hey, bro, hey, dude, hey, Holmes, hey, homeboy. But instead, they spell it like H-O-L-M-E-S. And then I Googled it, and there's a debate going on online where some are saying, no, it's actually a reference to Larry Holmes. You know, it's like, kind of like, you know, you're calling someone Holmes because he's tough. Like, you know? Larry Holmes, the the black, the the African American boxer, and I'm like, what? Why would Hispanics be revering Larry Holmes? It just doesn't make sense. So I don't know. Anybody want to comment on that? I'm not Hispanic. I am not an expert on this in any way, shape, or form. Uh, but I always thought Holmes was homeboy, like short for homeboy. Really, That's my take. I, I'm what? probably wrong. Maybe I told I'm wrong. You that myself. Maybe not. Oh, for reals? Ah, oh, shit. That must have been ages ago. Renew 
might you clowns be? Name's V. This is Jackie Wells. Oh. Is that supposed to sound familiar? It will soon. We're here to see Dex. Yo, Dex. Got two live ones saying they're here to see you. Yeah? All right, then. Says he needs a second or two. Go get yourselves drinks or something. Way ahead of you, viejo. Dropped us at Kang Tao's Seaside Resort. Kang Tao. Best leave ever. Joy toys from every corner of the Some of the conversation I, conversations I've read online about that, some Hispanics are saying that the expression Holmes actually predates Larry Holmes. So they're saying it has nothing to do with Larry Holmes. Anyways. Thought Dex was the best. <laughs> Rogue was lining up jobs when Dex was still shitting in diapers. <laughs> Place belongs to her. What can I get you? I'm good, thanks. For real? I'm celebrating. Come on. We're going on a job, Sorry. Jackie. Chingada madre. Fine. Have it your way. A tequila old fashioned with a splash of cerveza and a chili garnish. One Johnny Silverhand coming up. Right on, Chica. Somebody did their homework. Looks like the dog ate mine. Age-old tradition. Drinks are named after our regulars. Say I wanted a drink named after me. What would I have to do? Snuff it. Mind-blowingly spectacular fashion. mid up would be best. Ah, what a beautiful tradition. Guess dying's a small price to pay for going down in history. I live like a legend first, though, huh? Death. It's nothing but the final flourish. What's her name? Claire. Hey, Claire. Oh, and by the way, name's Jackie Wells. You want to write down my recipe? Hmm, sure. Shot of vodka on the rocks, lime juice, ginger beer, oh, and most importantly, a splash of love. Hey, hey, we <laughs> saw her first. I'll remember that. Heard you were Dex's latest finds. Just biz, no big deal. See, she's looking Mr. at me. Deshaun, see you now. Break a leg. Thanks. Ta ta, Claire. Damn, Holmes. You're huge. Work out? Mm. Same here. No, in the ring. You do some kind of exotic shit? Huh? Kempo? Ninjutsu? Mm. Think you could take me? Drop me? In here. Este pinche tipo. That's right. Excelsior. Cold hard eddies, as per usual. Gotta bounce. Well, if it ain't Mr. V. Whole family in one place. Ha! Finally! First time in real space. And the flathead. Well, let's see this bad boy. All right, then. Set your butts down comfy. Sweet booth. Is soundproof? Jackie. Now, now, Mr. Wells is right. We're going to be going over some sensitive material. But if it's all right with y'all, I'd like to start with a question for Mr. V. Evelyn Parker, how'd you fare? Well, as I could have, I guess. Walked around Compeki Plaza inside from that raw BD she scrolled. Mm-hmm. Bug already filled me in. So you know the target? Yorinobu Arisaka, the Emperor's son and heir apparent. Mm-hmm. Man with the millionaire name and no talent to back it up. Evelyn Parker's special friend? So she just want to see what's good, or was there something else? Okay, here you can rat on Evelyn, or you could, uh... 
stay loyal to her. Uh, it's really hard to comment about this without doing any spoilers. So let's just say your the best bet is to stay loyal to Evelyn. All right, so we're not going to rat on her. Don't do that one. I think she just wanted to see what I was about. Wanted to see what she was about, huh? How about we go over the plan? What you got for us, Dex? This. Well, here goes nothing. Me and Dex have already covered the fine deep. Ops-wise, should be a stroll on the beach. Elaborate. I want to hear it. A Delamain will drop your asses at the front door of Kentucky Plaza. You'll stroll right in thanks to your false identities. Then, with Bug's help, you'll breach the hotel subnet. Mine and the Flathead's help. Last but not least, you slip into Yorinobu's penthouse and clep the relic. It goes without saying, we do this on the hush. Ideally, no bodies. Not a one. You'll have T-Bug on comms for the duration. Time for your burning questions. All clear to me. Perfect. I got a question. When do we get to the real reason we're all here? Cut for fresh talent's always the same and non-negotiable. 30%. Bro, 30? Every part in this drama carries its risks. That's the value of yours, as determined by me. Yeah, you could negotiate for 35%. Uh, once again, it's hard to say anything about Go this without now, doing any spoilers. Let's just do it for the hell of it. Come on, Dex. Isn't that a little low? Hey, hold on, Holmes. Who got the flathead? Who pulled the intel from the brain dance? And we're going in a hotel full of soccer men to swipe some fucking toy from the boss's son. We are the job. Hmm. And who's providing transport? A top-tier net runner and a lead-proof plan and intel? You sure you want to go down this road? Jack's right, Dex. We ought to get more than 30. We deserve more. Fine. 35. And that's my final offer. I can live with that. It's my final offer, too. Hmm. <laughs> Been a while since I got a run for my eddies. They're actually kind of fun. Last thing, kompeki has got a strict no-iron policy, security gates, the works. So you dogs will leave your lead spitters in the ride, take the flathead inside in its case. Got some deft suits, so you'll look the part, too. Chido. Thanks, T. So, not to count chickens, but why don't we see our eddies? All depends how Miss Parker avails herself of her role, but a week, two tops is my guess. What do we do while waiting? Sit around, suck air? You sit tight, heads down, cause old Uncle Arasaka be watching. Now as that old Greek dog says, life's a banquet. So don't go thirsty, but don't get drunk either. Your chariot awaits outside. My cue to Delta Two. Gotta prep to jack in. Be there when you come on comms. Any other issues, now's your chance. I'm good, no questions. Let's get to work. Are you ready to get going or what? Let's roll. No point in waiting. In getting rich, you mean? Welcome on board this Delamain service. With Delamain, you leave your problems at the door. Son of a bitch. Better fucking believe I will. I see no reason why you should be using expletives. Oh, yeah? What about that time I wanted to hire you for my cousin's bachelor party, huh? Unfortunately, we do not take on such contracts. Three months I'd been saving up scratch. Eh, water under the bridge. Hit it, Del. Before we begin our journey, I must verify the identities of all customers. Please proceed to connect your personal links. Excelsior package activated. Excelsior? Oh, this just keeps getting better. Excelsior. The Excelsior is a package tailored to our premium clientele. 
Top quality don't come free, you know. Now watch. Delamain, initiate combat mode. My apologies, but you do not appear to be in any sort of imminent danger. Huh. Oh well. Trust me. You'll mow down an army of Saka ninjas if it comes down to it. Dex ain't skimping, is he? At least we got some clue where his 65%'s going, huh? Excelsior. This is how you want to cruise into the major leagues. Is that really your be-all and end-all? Huh? Dex managed to buy you off that cheap? With a suit? A limo? I know, Jack. It kinda feels like you're losing that steel grip of yours. Huh. Seems to me like it's you who's got some kind of problem. I need you to keep your head clear and in the game. We got a job to do. It's never, ever been clearer in my whole fucking life. Let me explain something to you, V. My whole life I've spent in this shit around us. And I ain't going back. Hey, how's things? Smooth as fucking sandpaper. We'll be, uh, pulling up to the hotel soon. Listen, set up a direct encrypted line to guide you through Compeki. V, ring Jackie now, see if we're in sync. We are near it, Can't be too destination. Careful. Yep, don't gotta tell me. And? Hmm, got static. Say something, bug. The greatest crimes issue from a desire for excess and not from necessity. Say what now? Aristotle. Guess you read me then. Yeah, I read you. Not so much your Greek friend. Though it was kind of exciting. Could give it some thought. Try to understand. How about you, V? Read you loud and clear. Perfect. Okay. Tech checks out, looks like. Será mejor que sí. Stay in touch. Thank you for choosing the Delamain service. And best of luck. I shall await here for your return. It's finally happening. Almost forgot, no iron, huh? All right, Harry. Let's go. Hold on. Let me grab the flathead. We're out front, Bug. Member, reservations in your name, Ramon. You're there to meet Hajime Taki, military tech department rep. Papers Welcome are for the to flathead. Compeki, please. No swear. Welcome to Compeki Plaza. Please come through single file. You got it, home. Uh, <clears throat> sir? <clears throat> Hold on. Got something. Sir, care to explain why you're bringing a combat bot onto Compeki Plaza premises? I don't intend to explain myself to you or anyone else. Actually, we have rules, see? And they say you have to. Ah, you are here to see Taki-san. Am I right? Please, accept my apologies for the confusion. <laughs> this should no only problem. take a moment, sir. Go ahead. Yokoso. Greetings and welcome to Kompeki Plaza. Greetings. We'd like to check in. Of course. Just a moment, please. The name on the reservation is? Victorino. Double room, two adults, one night, correct? That's the one. Perfect. I'll go ahead and notify Takisan of the arrival. Shit, no good. Not part of the plan. Talk her up, V. Stall. That won't be necessary. We'll go freshen up first. Notify him ourselves. But Takisan is expecting you. No? Senorita, do you know how long we've been traveling? 18 hours from New Barcelona. With a delay on Medici because some cyber cycle blew himself into bits inside the terminal. Oh, a nightmare. A 
Of course, I understand. You'll be in the Lapis Lazuli suite on level 42. Oh, one more little formality. Please validate your SID chip. Hunter's all yours, Harry. Everything seems to be in order. We wish you a pleasant stay. Thank you. Better get going. New Barcelona, really? It's called improvising. You should try it. What do you think, Harry? Hmm? Quaint, cozy. Not like the hotel we had in Zurich for that convention. Don't need that, Jack. Enough. How are what? You able to I'm taking this seriously. Yeah, you gotta commend Jackie for committing to the role, come on. Despite his horrible acting. <laughs> the top of the line dolls. Bar don't look too shabby. Welcome to Compeki Plaza. We don't do reservations weekday, so feel free to grab any available table. Or a couple of stools at the bar if you prefer. Could bring Misty here one day when we uh, close this deal. You will, I'm sure. Now let's go check out our digs. You nailed the part or what? <laughs> How do I look? Like somebody put clothes on a dog. <laughs> oh, yeah, because you look so much better. We do. Check it out, dude. Huh? Where's my, uh... There we go. Like putting lipstick on Al Jerkinson. <laughs> Well, here we are. Lapis. We're in our room. Pretty snazzy. Too bad we ain't staying the night. Nice choice, Buck. Didn't pick it for snaz. Offers quickest access to the dweller and servers. Si, si, me acuerdo. Now you fire up the flathead and find the shaft entrance. Sounds simple enough. Simplicity is sometimes toughest to master. Aurelius? Aristotle? Who's it this time? Yours truly. That one's mine. Where's the shaft? Boot up your scanner. Look around. Got a winner. Good. Jackie, how's the flathead looking? All set. All right. I now dub the Boris. Systems are operational. Charge at 100. Just gonna stand there and look at it? Gonna have to switch to manual control. B, take the control shard from Jackie. Gonna link your Kiroshis to surveillance so you can guide the bot. Here. Here goes. Patching you through to in cam view. Might get a little disoriented, but don't freak. Hey, wait a minute, I wasn't finished. I was watching that. Okay, got a clear view. You can't just go locking people out of their homes. There you go. The next vent. Places of work. Boris. Why Boris? Like Boris the Spider. Boris the Spider. Okay, uh, next vent is over here. Go, Boris. Do your thing. District I'm from. That's right. That's all we Creepy crawl, my metal arachnid. And that is 
all I can promise you. Get in there. In you go, Boris. Okay, flatheads in. Patching you into next cam now. Okay, now you have to send Boris to the vent over here, uh, but there's a problem. What now? Note inside said, in sorry for the mess. Okay, got a distractor. There was blood uh, everywhere. Let's see what's on the subnet. But at least he left it to All right, on it. Am I the only one that just Okay, you can check everything in the room, but the thing you want to focus on is this thing over here. Terrarium's got a temp and air quality controller. Prem, yeah. Sick the flathead on it. Think he's single? Who? You know. Good looking, filthy rich. Has that naughty look in his eye? He's staying in the penthouse. Mean you're a noble Arasaka. Men like him are always single. Might wear expensive suits, but he's a biker at heart, always itching for a ride. <laughs> I'd give him a. <laughs> uh, cat. Something's up with the tank. Hey, bug, it worked. Oh, Ain't seen nothing yet. You got any idea how much those things cost? Keep moving. No time for backpatting. Okay, Boris, hit it. <laughs> Are you seeing this? <laughs> and then he comes and then send him over here. Okay. Dwellers just beyond the door. Flathead can jimmy the lock. Uh-oh. Looks like he's having trouble. Shit. Gotta be another way. Let me think. Got another cam other side of the door, but it's disabled. Want me to enable? Yeah. Look around for a CCTV port. Okay, the CCTV port is right here. Got the port. Okay, have the flathead jack in. Okay, he's at it. Now toggle over to the other cam. Um, they don't tell you what no what key this is on the PC version is three. Dwellers inside. Just as planned. Still weird. The hotel's only got one runner. Decent dwellers as good as a dozen rank and file. I'm just doing this to for demonstrational purposes. What now? What do we do now? Neutralize him. Use the flathead to jack into him. I'll flash freeze him with a demon. You old lingo. Don't ask. Dweller won't realize something's up. Got to jack straight into his chair. He won't know what hit him then. Could drive a tank through here and he wouldn't feel a breeze. Dead to the world, that one. You'll have to get the flathead in there first, though. Okay, scan for a path for the flathead it is down here. Shaft may link both rooms, looks like. Let's figure it out. Now toggle over to the other cam. Scan for a grate in the floor. The grate in the floor is right over here. Might have found our way in. Send the flathead over there, then toggle over to the second camp. Flathead into the chair, V. Jack in. Go, Boris. <laughs> Got him. Love those demons. Flathead stays, right? To keep an eye on the dweller, yeah. Punching into Compeki's main net. You go ahead and log out. <laughs> you know what this looks like, eh? <laughs> Así es como se hace. It looks like Boris just made the dweller Fine. his bitch. A little dizzy, that's all. Bug, how you doing on time? Okay, enough of that. Sorry about that. Yeah, yeah, I'm here. So, listen, ice is thicker than I thought. Piercing it'll take a couple hours. A couple hours? 
Can't do it any faster. Want my brain to burst into flames? Just sit down and enjoy your snazzy sweet. Thanks. I will. V, uh, you take it easy, okay? Rest up a bit. Okay, and that ends part one of the heist. Part two, uh, there's going to be like some combat. Okay, it's going to be a little more, a little more activity. I want to thank you all very much for watching. And if you thought this was remotely entertaining and or informative, you know what to do. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, stuff like that there. And see you next time for part two of the heist. Hey guys, real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on YouTube. For a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page and please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack, to help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube. You can donate as little as $1. That's $1, that's all. That's all it takes, alright? Thanks a lot, really appreciate it.